G'day sweeties on Friday the 18th of December 2015 just before Christmas and I've been having dreams about our orphanage being bulldozed and I should have listened to it a little bit earlier we drove past today and had to go back near the camera they are starting well they have started demolition so I just want to show you so like you know that that was the main superintendent's house and then next it was 200B, the last house that me, Edie and Rosie were in. There's the last three kids in this orphanage. Ballarat Children's Home Orphanage, 200 Victoria Street. So, we've got the workers thingamajiggies. They've been in here and they've, they've taken trees and stuff already, as you can see. So over there, next to my MB John and that. They're basically just removing all the tree, everything quickly. Um, you know, like the windows, they're starting to remove all the windows. And when you see the office block, you see what I mean. They actually have started demolition. <laughs> and they've, yeah, they've started demolition, so... You know, they don't care about us. We were supposed to come here and say goodbye. We were supposed to be able to come here and get a brick each, a part of our home and our history and our heritage. And they are taking that away from us as well. So, you know, um, all I can do is take photos and do my last video because as you all know, I can't do this because this is a fight I've been fighting all my life and to watch it actually happening like all the plants are gone as you can see so all plants that were promised to go into our gardens are gone they promised us <coughs> so many things that have turned out to be blatant lies um, So we're not going to get, by the looks of it, any part of our history, any part of our childhood, any part of it at all. It's just, I mean, look at it, you can almost imagine shopping set. Look, all those trees, gone. I don't know. Um, oh, gee, gee, so they're already pulling this down. I mean, we've got no right of say at all. We can't stop it. We can't have the truth of what we survived out in the world for anyone to see. It's all right. I'm Auntie Phyllis. That doesn't matter. It's a demolition site and you have no authority to be here. I actually am allowed on here to say goodbye. I'm Auntie Phyllis, a survivor, and th this is my very last video in an in a, um, episode of videos to say goodbye to our home, and I'm doing it for all of us survivors. I don't know whether you Auntie who. That's who I am, Auntie you're, Phyllis Reed. You're not Reed. my auntie. No, it, it's called Auntie as in my first Australian. I'm Phyllis Reed. I'm one of the last three to have left this site. I have videos that I do, I go to council, I have, have you, a lot of contact. Have you got authority from the owners of this building? Yes, as long as I don't touch anything or go into the buildings. I don't go into the buildings. I'm going around saying goodbye. I've got videos. It doesn't all matter over what you've got, it is private land. And it is, it's under the control of the contractors. Yes, and the developers no. and I, the, de the owners, okay? The owners. And they know I have to say goodbye. Now, the survivors wanted to come here in person and do it, you know, and in person. Me, have you got permission to be here? I'm just with her. He's just no. videoing me. My, he's my son-in-law. And he's vi videoing me, doing my last video of goodbye to our home. Because most of our elderly are too weak to come here and do it themselves. And so I am the nominated person to do it. Now, I have that. You can call the council if you like and you say, Auntie Phyllis Reed, and they will certainly let you know. If the you call the owners, no if you call the owners, this. 
you will get the same response. Yes, she does that all the time. She comes here, she does her videos, and she walks away. And is that your Pujo out the front? That's mine. Right, we've no. taken the number of that. That's fine, so yes. Put, yes, I've had police as well before. We, yes. We know who you are. Yes, no, that's perfect. And you may have permission to be here, but you don't. Well, I can leave. I think you should. Well, how am I supposed to do my video? Yeah, of goodbye for the whole... We're talking... Phone. We're talking... No, I need somebody to see, so I'm explaining goodbye. That's why I have somebody who's doing the video, because I can't do it. And the point is that it's for all the survivors that are still alive to say goodbye. Right. They can't come here in their own physical bodies. I think they could if they chose No, to. they can't. A lot of them are... We're talking about 90-year-old women and men. You think that's okay for them to not be able to say goodbye? So that's what that's who I'm okay. doing it. I'll not just I'll the younger to ones. The owners, but I'll yes, see you on site. yes, please do. Yes, because I I have no problem with that but at they all. May. Yes, no, they know I do this. Today is goodbye. Okay. I'll you know that's on. it. Yes. And what time would you expect to be off the site? Um, I'm just going to go around and do a goodbye video and then come straight out exactly where I came in. So, I don't know, 10 minutes? Okay, I'll contact the owners yep. in one hour. Yep, no, that's no problem, because they know I do it. Okay. Yep, okay, thank you for protecting the site. As you can see now, they're getting defeated because they are doing the demolition. Like I said, they know I come here. They know I do my videos, and this is the goodbye video. And isn't that just lovely to have somebody tearing down on you like that? And I don't care who you are, you're not their auntie. Disrespectful. So, goodbye to our playground, our tennis court, our netball courts, and all of the beautiful trees. They're all gone. Goodbye to where we all went up to the farm to do the milking. And um, the other animals we had, uh, I think they were ducks, I don't know, ducks or geese and get the eggs from. So goodbye to our road. So obviously I can't um, do what I was going to do because this person has no compassion, no understanding and no respect. Goodbye to our kitchens, our laundry, where we work like slaves. Goodbye to all of that. The boys' toilets. Mr Bowles shed where that part used to be the girls' toilets. shows you how money is more important and more defendable than children and grown adults who were those children who were victims of child rape, child slavery, uh, medical experiments, bashings, torture and even murder. So goodbye to Mr Bowles Shed. Goodbye to Leech Extension. Goodbye. Albert Leech, goodbye. And the one at the front, I keep forgetting the name. How rude's that? I, I apologise, the girl's building up the front. Alright, just continuing the video. So, the Sloyd building. Now, in here, in there, we have our stage where we sang, where we played, well I played guitar, and this here where, you know, us girls used to escape in the middle of the night and then race back in and try and climb up the window, 
I fell out and nearly busted me bum on the concrete. And, uh, they were in too much of a hurry to get in. So we've got uh, the swimming pools underneath that. Mrs. Sweet's room, we called the dungeon. That's down there. And look at this, they are taking the buildings. They've already started full, de de you know, demolition. Disgraceful, disrespectful, and no honour or dignity for us children who survived, let alone the children who died. They never got to come out of here. They still wander these grounds. Look, you know, they are doing full demolition. Um, but look at this, Albert Leach, as everyone knows, if you didn't go in the toddler's block after being processed through the office, you went here first, then they worked out whether you're going to the boy's side, girl's side, or anywhere in between. Oh my God, you have no idea. My bedroom's in there. And I should have the right to be able to take some part of my bedroom away from this place before they knock it down. The school stays. They are so angry about that. The, our crying wall, that stays. The brick wall, the main wall. They don't like that. Anyway, might take just a couple of photos and then turn the video back on. So back to video. And they've certainly uh, got busy, as we call it. I mean, it's amazing how fast they move, isn't it? Listen to your dreams, fellas, because they're not dreams, it's spirit talk. And, you know, if you don't listen to it, this is what you end up having to go through. So here we go. I mean, the occasions that we had here, that was open and we had lawn here with trees and the swimming pool right there and you had you know all kinds of do's you had the main dining area in there with the concert hall swimming pool and you'd have functions you'd have politicians you'd have movie stars you know or still do we call them tv stars and us kids would uh, have competitions in sports and uh you know uh, music and all that kind of thing to be outside world because again I'll state we were on the inside and they were on the outside now this is the office block I took over and I cleaned it spotless it was perfect it was habitable and I proved that the whole home our whole home could be fixed up and repaired I'm right, going to take a couple of photos now yeah. So that's the office folks, what's left of it. I'm not going to be there very soon. So these front steps were the first place children walked up and they were midgets. I was a midget, Needy was a midget. Only little tackers walked over from the Alexander baby time to come into this big place. And those stairs were giant. Look at it. We all walked up here and in through the office to be processed like human cattle. So goodbye. Don't know what else to say. So we'll take a couple of photos because it's getting a bit much.